marks on the walls from the bullet. А там есть полотенце или что? So beautiful. Ah, like in Himalaya. The expectations and the reality. We are in Abkhazia and this video I'm gonna show you the top things to see all around that country. The country is not big, it's partially recognizable and from one border with Russia to another border with Georgia you can get in two, two and a half hours. From the north of the country it's bordered by the mountains and on the southern part is the limitless Black Sea. Abkhazia in many aspects is a less developed country than Russia or Georgia. So this is due to international uh, sanctions. Abkhazia reclaimed independence maybe 20 years ago and then and it was uh, boycotted by many countries. When I come to Abkhazia, I check out also these arches. Uh, they've been renovated just recently. And from there you can find the beautiful view over the Black Sea. Man with the beard. If you want to take a picture, ask how much the picture costs. Otherwise you may be overcharged. That the mountains coming so close to the sea. This is the most narrow part of Abkhazia. There is something magic when you're standing by the sea and, and the waves of the sea are so pleasing to the ear. And the waves, they are like hypnotizing. Before you go to the Ritza Lake, you should go to the Blue Lake. The water in the lake is so transparent and the color of the lake is changing from blue to from blue to the green. As always in such places, the number of tourists is a bit overwhelming. And this is just the low season. During the high season, the number of tourists may be 20 times more. We are continuing our way to the Ritza Lake and we just made a stop in the between two mountains. Oh my God, and it's so beautiful. I feel like I'm very little man here compared to the huge mountain. Ah, like in Himalay. Never been in Himalay, so. The expectations and the reality. I didn't expect to see what I'm seeing now. The Ritza Lake is completely in snow. It's very foggy, but Nonetheless, it's beautiful. It's so impressive how the season was changed from the subtropical climate to the proper winter. And we are 800 meters above the sea level now. Lake is quite large and the deepest point is 150 meters. The swimming is prohibited because this is a national park. I am kind of cold. Unbelievable, you just can't see nothing it's like to be in the cloud where everything is white and snow is coming. It's getting chilly and I want a cup of tea. I'm pretty much sure it would be much more appealing if it would be some of New Afon Monastery, the largest uh, monastery in Abkhazia. And so impressive how beautiful it is and unbelievable, only 10 monks are living on that huge complex for it was accommodating up to 500 monks. So religion was not allowed in Soviet Union before. The cathedral itself is more into the Greek style. Let's go and see what's inside the cathedral. Frisks and the paintings are so beautiful. This is the Mother Maria. This is Jesus Christ. It's not that beautiful and exotic that the monastery is located among the palms and subtropical climate. I'm going to the bus station to get to the capital of Abkhazia, Suhum, Chile and it rains. But even so, I like the feel of the adventure. Okay, I think the bus is coming, so um, hopefully I'm gonna catch the bus to Suhum. Let's see. I'm on a bus and soon I'm gonna arrive to Sukhum. It's only 25 kilometers far. I'm very cold and I need to find a hotel now. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and check out how much room is in this hotel. I got my hotel room and it's only 20 pounds. And here I am, the window from the Floor to the ceiling and two single beds. Let's go and check out the view. There is a sea view. 
and the abandoned building like many in Abkhazia. There is so much going on in this building, some balconies, some hangers to dry uh, clothes, uh, air conditioner, some uh, windows also uh, behind the bars to protect from the thieves probably. And now I'm going to see the embankment. I'm gonna check out the surrounding areas and then chill, getting ready for tomorrow. Woo! And if you like this video so far, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I publish video twice a week about travel, healthy lifestyle, Russia, London. Whenever you go, comment what you would like to see in my next video. <laughs> the beach in Suhum, like the city itself, is quite empty. It's almost all people in Abkhazia I've seen so far are wearing black. The potential of this place is just huge. The only problem is that the status of Abkhazia is still questionable. It's not that beautiful and cute to go on the palms. For those of you people who think that Russian language is difficult, you don't even know the Abkhazian language. Read. The Abkhazian language is the top five the most difficult languages in the world. It has 64 letters. There are marks on the walls from the bullets. This is the scars of the war. Akarmara is another place to see. This is of the beaten track. You wouldn't find it in the guidebook. This is the town where 5,000 families were living and then they lost their homes due to the war. They had to leave this place looking for the peace. And since then, 30 years ago, out of 5,000 families, the great amount of people, only five families are living here. And I'm here just now all by myself in the middle of that uh, big building blocks. And no one is actually here. Just the broken windows and empty houses completely rotten without anything inside ah that's sad we are passing the Ochimchira city it's another town in abkhazia 40,000 people were living uh, here and now only 5,000. so eight times less the population it used to be no wonder why there are so many abandoned buildings because before the war the population of abkhazia was half a million and now is only 250,000. So every second person has left the country to Georgia, to Russia, some other countries. The ecology of Abkhazia is very clean is because there is not many industries. And the main sources of income to Abkhazian budget are tourism and agriculture. I'm near the cathedral, which is over 1,000 years old. It was built in the 11th century, the cathedral of the George and inside there are a few icons and some of these icons are gonna say getting out the moisture out of the paper and those icons are considered to be sacred they are like miracles this apartment block uh, is a hotel during the war uh, people left the hotel and the thieves took out uh, carpets, television, bed linen, beds and the building is now just empty and as you can see it's just on the first line to the sea. It's very beautiful sunset today and the weather is lovely too. Just by Suhumi there is a thermal swimming pool which meant to be very good for health and that smoke behind me is not actually the smoke it is the steam. The steam is so wide that I can't really see much and it's like geysers the water is coming from the ground up smells funny it's very transparent the water I'm gonna go for a swim the water meant to be good the thermal swimming pools are open and the entry ticket is only two pounds like everywhere in the Abkhazia you can pay with Russian rubles you don't have to have um, dollars on you but you should take lots of cash. The people are lying down under the water, which are coming from the top pool. There are many people inside, kids, men, women, families. I'm gonna go. It's not recommended to take the pool for longer than 15 minutes. There you can put the mud on your skin and then <laughs> I like that baths. This is natural massage. I want to stay there longer than recommended 15 minutes. 
I gotta go. Nice hot water and it doesn't stink once you are in the bath itself. Uh, the experience reminds me of Japanese onsen or thermal bath in Indonesia. Suhumi is quite empty and especially on mornings there are throughout uh, Suhumi many abandoned buildings. In the flag of Abkhazia you can see on the left top corner uh, the palm. This is the symbol of the country. The house of the government which was destroyed. Probably not surprised anymore how many deserted buildings are here in Abkhazia. And the access to the building is so easy. This is the heaven for stalkers, for those people who like that kind of derelict places. I think it might be dangerous to go underneath because the parts of the building with the concrete and bricks may fall down. These are the marks of the war, the marks from bullets, the sad reminders of the events which happened not long ago. Khazia is not just the abandoned and half-deserted country. It was affected by the war, but it's still very beautiful and it's safe. Believe me or not, this, this is the heaven for those who like uh, very interesting photo shoots, like adventure, like to explore new unknown places. Great place to be, safe place to be, interesting place to be, and beautiful nature and culture. So guys, if you haven't been here, I recommend you to do so. I'm on my way to the bus station. I'm gonna catch my bus back to Russia and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I publish video twice a week. Hit the like button and comment what you would like to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!